Okay, we're going 80s rock this week. Time for a stage dive. say some of that touching then was inappropriate uh, <laughs> hey listen what a sexy show we've got for you tonight a uh, comic turned hollywood actor russell brand is on the show ladies and gentlemen uh-huh 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 the gorgeous and talented emily blunt is here oh and we've got music chat from coloma faith yes two beautiful women and russell brand no, no, that's it. Russell has had, should we say, a colourful life. And uh, he revealed all in his autobiography, My Bookie Wook. Now, a lot of people couldn't resist having a look at the lurid sexual details. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she was checking to see if she's in it? <laughs> Few, not mentioned. Uh, now, over the last few years, Russell's been in so many comedy films. Uh, Get Him to the Greek, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and, of course, St. Trinian's. Now, uh, based in a girls' boarding school, that must be tough, mustn't it? I mean, who'd want to dump their daughter somewhere and then go home without them? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Running the country. Oh. Now, Russell's new film, Rock of Ages, is all set in the 80s. Remember those mad groups, the big hair, the crazy dancing, bands like uh, Motley Crue, uh, Poison, uh, the Nolans? <laughs> what a shit decade that was. <laughs> Blunt is here. Star of the Devil Wears Prada, so many great films. She lives in L.A. now, but still British through and through. Despite the weather, she's really enjoying being back in the country. Yeah, she's been watching the tennis at Queen's. Yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she went for a lovely walk along the beach. <sighs> and, uh, she even found time to go to a music festival. Lovely couch. Yes. <laughs> and remain calm, Russell. Uh, <laughs> I'm very comfortable here on this bonquette. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, now, you both have been on the show before. Paloma, your first time yeah, on the show. Yeah, I'm a show virgin. Oh. So, will your family all be watching? Um, actually, my mum said she's not going to watch because she goes, You and Russell Brand. <laughs> You are going to offend a large portion of society together, and it's not a good combo, and I can't bear to watch for my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> she can't have watched much of Emily Blunt stuff then, because she'd know that this is the real risk. <laughs> <laughs> I've just offended Russell backstage because his pants are falling down, and one of his nice women who was with him, I'm not saying he's got a harem in the <laughs> Like There's a nice lady who's probably looking after you in your clothes no, and all that. And she whispered to him, pull your pants up, because they were coming down. And he pulled them up and then I said, do your belt up tighter. And he ripped the Velcro on his sash. And I said, wow, a Velcro sash. And he thought I was being rude, but I was really saying, wow, that is amazing. What do you know about sashes? I used to wear sashes. <laughs> <laughs> is that the, uh, 
to wear a sash. Nineties. Yeah, I used to wear my favourite outfit was white jeans with a sash, a colourful sash, a waistcoat, and a white polo neck. <laughs> you should have been more supportive of my sash then. I know. <laughs> I really made like. a mistake. Uh, but now, Emily, have you gone a bit LA? Me? Yes. Don't you play golf now? Well, I, I, I played it sort of five times. That's a lot. Does that make me a avid golfer? Yes. I, I quite enough. like it. I really like kind of whizzing around on the cart with some beers in the back. Oh, OK. That's the fun part. OK, yeah. yeah. That, that sounds like fun. But now, this is very... I love how kind of California this is. You, you <laughs> swim with dolphins. No, well, I've taken up the hobby of scuba diving, which okay. I really, really enjoy. Um, and so we went down, I've been shark diving, which was kind of amazing, although I had a real close encounter with a shark. Recently. Little low shark. It wasn't, it was about six feet, so Did I it eat people? Was it well, that tight? it wasn't, but it, why right. are you trying to diminish my story? It's just the type of fish. <laughs> <laughs> you went near a fish. Let me tell people you. People do that. <laughs> That's your story. I was near a fish let once. Me, let me tell you. <laughs> it could have eaten her hand. It could have eaten her hand. Don't clap him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just shit on all of your stories. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, don't you have rules for swimming with dolphins? With dolphins? I heard that you're not supposed to touch a dolphin unless they come to you and offer themselves for a rub down. Oh! <laughs> they they love love themselves. Themselves. You're not supposed to touch them Why? if they don't, because dolphins mate for life, and if you touch one of them, the other one can smell your your touch on them and they so think that they've cheated on them and then that you can break up a dolphin marriage. So that is true. That is fact. I know. I'm going to have to phone up SeaWorld directly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down one's blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I would say, she's had a dolphin orgy, if that's the case. I re yeah, I, rec I reckon I've broken up a few dolphin what? marriages. <laughs> yeah. um, I went to Cuba and I sort of was in a situation where they were like, do you want to swim with dolphins? And they actually taught me how to sort of be lifted up on the nose of two dolphins. And what, with your foot on each on nose. Each now, if you think she's wow. making it up, somebody filmed it. That's a good story. We've got the footage. Oh, Not, oh, I was near a fish once. Stood <laughs> up on two dolphins. It was a shark. It came like that to me. <laughs> That's not nice. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's a brilliant. This. That's <laughs> nice work. I'm well into this. Now look. Oh, brilliant. That's Paloma. <laughs> it's not great to begin with. I'll give you that. It does look like a woman in the water. Now what? What's this? What? 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 what, 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 what. Have you got any footage of you near that fish? <laughs> I hate your sash. Have <laughs> <laughs> lunch. Worry not. We're going to big you up now because oh, your God. new movie, Five Year Engagement, out next Friday. Yes. Uh, it's from the same people who made uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Or that um... shite film, Get Him to the Green. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> But, but so basically, it is, it is what you think it's going to be. It's a rom-com, but yes. it's got big belly laughs, big physical laughs, big dirty yes. laughs. Yes, yes, it has. Well, I hope so, anyway. No, it does. Yeah. I've seen it. it oh, good. Yeah, I'm no. glad. Uh, so but it's a five-year engagement, and you obviously play the lady. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stretch, was it? <laughs> <laughs> We've been nice. We've had nice encounters. It's all going wrong. You started all this sash stuff, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I do this for a living. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's you and uh, Jason Siegel. Yes. Yes. And what's nice is that you do seem like a prop, you know, a nice couple in the film. Well, we're friends, which I think really helps because we sort of have a shorthand and a natural warmth, I guess, with each other, and that translates on screen, hopefully. Well, it, you say you're friends, but then it, he wrote this specifically for you, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Is that not a bit creepy? No, I thought it was flattering. <laughs> But he wrote lots of kind of sex scenes and kissing scenes in. <laughs> none of them are very sexy. I mean, there's like a, a it's scene. It's a lot of humping. Yeah, but none of it's very like, ooh, and like, ooh, oh my God, like, Emily's husband must be so threatened. Like, some of it is really bad. It's like bad sex. Yeah, there is a lot of bad sex in it. Bad sex. Yes. <laughs> and what's the, the thing with, um, they had a problem, apparently the producer had a problem with the way you said condom. Yeah, because I, the, uh, what do they say in America? They say condom. Condom. <laughs> 
condom, and I obviously say condom like any normal person, and it's <laughs> be a real problem, so I had to say condom. But you were doing Cookie Monster's voice at the time. Oh, yes, and my Cookie Monster is not great. I, take I thought it was bit, excellent. Really, I, I felt I went a bit Transylvanian with it or something. It was a bit odd, so Maybe I do, did... Do a little. Do, do you want me to do yeah, the do condom a little, line? Yeah. Don't say anything. I'm going to fully support you, Blunt. You're lovely. <laughs> C is for condom, it's good enough for me. It <laughs> <laughs> is good. Oh, I got a snack on me, okay. <laughs> and then I kiss you some more. Yeah. <laughs> it, now, in terms of engagements, five years, is that a long engagement? I feel like a lot could go wrong in a five-year engagement, you know what I mean? I'd dump him if it was five years. It'd I be feel like, like after, get two, on with it. after two, you should get another ring. Or something. <laughs> what, till, till, just like stacking them up. <laughs> How long are you engaged for? Just a year. See, that already seems quite a long time. Well, it's not really because you're trying to plan it and then it schedules and all that stuff. Are you more of a sort of just go to Vegas and get it done type guy? <laughs> you make it sound like a tattoo. Uh... <laughs> it is in some cases. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think... You're all right for the rest no, of the show. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with this dress. <laughs> <laughs> She's bowled out here with a bagel on her head. <laughs> Starts. Why, did, listen, you sit there and keep calm, young lady. <laughs> Too much water you've had. <laughs> uh, now, listen, uh, in terms of engagements, we know mm. that there's an engaged couple in the audience. Right. So oh. we thought we might try and spot them. Essentially, I think we're looking for a smug woman and a worried man. <laughs> so where is the, let's see if we can spot couples. See let's see if we can spot see. couples. Hang on, let's see. So, uh, lots of lay... Oh, look, they're holding hands. Uh, you... Oh, is that... Is that the... Or is that the... <laughs> well, no, I don't know, it's 2012! <laughs> Yourself. Are you with yes. them? Uh, no, I'm not. You just sat here. I'm just sat here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know it's, a, it's a nice jumper. Oh, so okay. you are together. <laughs> so you are together. Yeah. Yes, we are. Yeah. You, are, you are. Okay. But you're too, you're not engaged, are you? No. No, you're too young. You're children. How long are you been <laughs> Seven months. Oh. <laughs> They're happy. <laughs> uh, uh, Couple? Couple? I wish. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been so friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. About a year. Yeah. Year, yeah. yeah. Well, you could get very drunk tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Juan. Juan. Matthew. Yeah, that won't work. Uh, <laughs> no, you couldn't say Juan and Matthew are coming for dinner. Uh, okay, uh, possibly. Stand up, stand up, the two of you. Go. Okay. What do you think, Sofa? Yes. Oh, oh, look at it, it's very jubilee. Uh, what do you reckon, a couple? Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah? Okay, well, let's try names. What's your name? Christina. Mark. They could be Christina and Mark. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a couple? No. no. <laughs> Do you know each other? Yes, I'm a dad. <laughs> Do you, you have a one? Yes. Is he here? Yes. Oh, where is, is it? Is that the next one? Yes. Oh, let's say, stand up boyfriend. <laughs> stand up boyfriend. <laughs> oh, wait, fiance. Right. You are engaged. Next year, maybe. Next year, maybe. <laughs> when did you get engaged? Um, Christmas Day last year. Oh, that's oh. lovely. It's quite a cheap gift, but uh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did you meet? Uh, we met actually on Chat Roulette two years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Do you live here? Do you, are you, are you, I'm from Austria. You're from Austria? Yeah, right. Okay. Christina's dad. Uh, she's... 
she's engaged to be married to a man she met on the internet from Austria. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> bad father. Uh, <laughs> so you look like a lovely couple, and uh, next year you're getting married. Yeah. All oh, right, long happy love to you both. Very good, excellent. Well done, all the people. Very good. Okay, now. Russell Brand, your new movie, Rock of Ages, is open tonight. And it's a huge musical. And it's been on Broadway, been on the West End. Is it like, is it fair to call it a kind of 80s rock Mamma Mia? Is that a fair <laughs> you way? You can describe it in any terms you want. <laughs> what it is, is it's a uh, film. It's, I think, £10. You can watch the film <laughs> for that amount of money. In the film, there is Tom Cruise. Oh! In the film, people sing merry, jolly songs. It's an enjoyable experience. It is. I'm here to promote it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a perfectly good film. I mean, it may not solve the inner torment and angst that you go through <laughs> as a human soul, but it's certainly a lovely distraction. <laughs> there's glitter, there's sequins, there's Alec Baldwin. There's one scene <laughs> that has got a baboon in it. <laughs> a baboon that was not in the original script. A baboon that materialised at the behest of Tom Cruise. <laughs> He never bought it, but Tom he Cruise, yeah, he said, wouldn't it be good Let's if my baboon. character had a baboon? <laughs> and because no one said no to Tom Cruise since around 1985, <laughs> the, a baboon came. <laughs> this is the baboon, aren't they? The baboon, Was in trained. my opinion, is not a charming animal. <laughs> what it is, is it, uh, it's an aggressive little thing, and uh, <laughs> it's... Like, say a chimp. I love a chimp. Delightful little thing. Yeah. Friendly. <laughs> affable. But a baboon, it looks forever on the precipice of doing something aggressive. They dressed it up in clothes, they sellotaped a nappy on it. It didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> when it got too wound up, it had a trailer that had three girl baboons in it. I no! Said, and I, yeah, and it goes, I've got a problem with that. And it goes, what, are you jealous? And I said, I don't have sex with baboons. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> Because you've talked, you've been on record about how lovely Tom Cruise was to work with. I mean, he was a really nice... He's generous, kind. Mm. Like, Tom Cruise, like, people uh, mean about him, I think, for their entertainment. But, like, uh, what it is, when you meet him, you'll remember... You, there he is, look, that's yeah. Tom Cruise, dressed up. <laughs> In the film. He's pretending to be someone else for money. Yeah. <laughs> He's kind, and, like, it was my birthday during the film, he bought me stuff, he found Aww. out, like, oh, you, you like yoga, do you? Here is a yoga mat. He's a really nice, nice. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Yeah, that happened. That exchange, I recreated it. <laughs> that was like a verbal photograph. <laughs> <laughs> because you're working with Tom Cruise. Is it that the next film you're doing? Yeah, I start it in the autumn, yeah. And is, are they filming that here? They are, yes. What is it? It's called All You Need Is Kill, and there's lots of killing. And I do a lot of killing. <laughs> you haven't done anything like that no, before. No, I haven't. I have to learn to be one of the best soldiers alive, which is hilarious. But, um, <laughs> but I'm going to try. Yeah. So I have to train all summer. I'm learning all these martial arts and stuff. It's pretty cool, actually. And I met Tom for a table read, and he's impossibly nice, isn't he? He is really kind and In the fun. table read for this film, <laughs> he turned up, the film I've just done, he come to the table read, and that just means, you know, it's called a table read, there's a table, there's some reading. <laughs> That's all that happens. He came fully dressed up in that clobber, doled up as a rock star, with <laughs> five people in a band and that. You know, I ain't even read the script yet. <laughs> That's amazing. He looked amazing. He's like, he come there as the person. Well, you know, I, we've heard you sing before, but I've, I don't think I've ever heard Alec Baldwin sing or, or Tom Cruise. Did you have all of big, like, musical rehearsals, singing, teaching and stuff? Yeah. You have to have singing lessons off this bloke, Ron. <laughs> Ron he's kind of, like, uh, he's tubby, and he's got, like, a very neat... He like, looks a lot like Pavarotti, but with a very neat white beard. Imagine Pavarotti, but all his hair white. And he's sort of, like, one of those people, you think, this bloke is definitely gay, cos he's like, Hello, it's nice to meet you. Time for the singing lesson. <laughs> and then all of a sudden he goes, This is my wife! And you think, <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> What's your wife's name? Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out he's got a wife and everything. He taught everyone to sing. Me, Baldwin, Tom Cruise. Everyone. He taught everyone singing. And, like, he's got a really lovely manner with him. Like, the way he teaches you to sing is by resonating out of different cavities in your head. That's <laughs> how you have to do it. Mouth, that's a cavity in your head. So I've, I've probably overcomplicated it. Like, <laughs> he goes, yeah, for this, he goes, uh, for this line, sing it a bit like this. 
And then you sort of go, whoa, 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 whoa. Just, no, no, more like a baby, like an angry baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to do it a bit more like that. And it has no attachment to the actual language that you're saying. Like in that film, Get Into the Greek, that you coated off earlier, with a right stab in the back. I actually liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I liked uh, it. He sung, there's this, when I had to sing the word blowjob, right, in this song, like in Get Into the Greek, where it goes, uh, all of these blowjobs in limousines. And I sang, no, no, it's not blowjobs, it's blowjobs! <laughs> blowjobs! <laughs> and it's like he had no relationship with the concept that blowjob is a funny <laughs> word. <laughs> Sing. You like now when you oh, meet no. girls go, I want a blow job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to undermine the event of blowjob. Do you think that the blowjob bit can be in the programme? That's my main concern now. Yes. <laughs> blow job. Yes. That, I think that's it. It will it's definitely be bit. if we keep putting it into keep other segments. Keep mentioning it and important I'll, I'll have it moments. in my yeah. integral bit. Yes. Coming we've... up next, Paloma will be singing Blowjob! <laughs> it's Paloma Blowjob face. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be it. It'll be it. But you... So you know! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone's talking. <laughs> everyone's talking. Blowjob faith is something every man must have. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, it could go wrong. <laughs> but in terms of, in terms of uh, you know, singing teachers and, and going out there and trying to prove you can sing, uh, presumably when you start out, you have to do those showcases, don't you? Mm. Yeah. Was there a showcase where you put on a fake belly? Well, I was in the early days. Yes. <laughs> I had to do a showcase for, like, the record label and I was really into prosthetics back then and I because I've been a bit of an art school student you know yeah, yeah, yeah. you get rigged up with blood bags and all that yeah. and I was doing my I was showcasing my Not everyone songs. does that by the way <laughs> <laughs> you get rigged up with blood bags people don't just all nod as <laughs> yeah, you know. your mum's like going thank do... I didn't watch this <laughs> Blood bag anecdote. Yeah, she's in the bag. <laughs> she's, she likes to think of herself as a bit arty. But um, yeah, so I was sort of on stage showcasing my songs, and I had like a prosthetic belly, yes. and um, I slashed it open in oh, a song wow. about the death of my childhood. Yes, of course. And, um, <laughs> and and then afterwards, I got off stage, and they were like, you know, we th we think you've got a great voice. But you've got to ditch the prosthesis. <laughs> well, what did that? Just a, a lot of blood. Yeah, it was like, well, I've done it before when I had fish come out. <laughs> done it before. When... <laughs> See, I you like this story. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a different sort of fish, actually. They were bought out of Dolston Market. Yeah, it wasn't I'm as glamorous as LA. Shark. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Shark. Think I slashed it out of her belly. <laughs> Buy her by coincidence. I think you've been slashed by it. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. But now, going back to the, the rock and roll thing, the first time you kind of played rocker was in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Now, you looked the part, but you did have to do quite challenging that like you had to surf and you'd never horse ridden before. It was a horrible experience, and Jason Siegel wrote that part as well. Yeah. He's like some cackling Dr. Death figure. <laughs> 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 so I have to do surfing. I'm no good at that. That's basically standing up on top of water. <laughs> <laughs> Even Long Jesus has only done it once. <laughs> Horse riding. That's too hard. The horse don't want you on it. That becomes pretty clear. <laughs> right, right wound up mine was. It did a weird laying down thing. They go, right, Russell, you are in charge of that horse. Make sure it knows you're in charge of it. How? Kicking it. I go, I'm kicking it. He's like a lovely horse. They go, you've got to show it you're the boss. I go, am I the boss? Look at the size of the bloody thing. <laughs> right? And he goes, make it stop when we get to this mark. They were filming with their cameras for make the film. You'll notice if you've seen Sarah Marshall, there ain't no bloody horse riding in it. Because <laughs> of how wrong it all went, how cruel and malevolent the whole experience was. The horse was meant to stop at a certain point, but because he's a horse, he don't know that. <laughs> he just went home. Like, he just ran past it, went home to his horse house. <laughs> It was like a big, like it was me on its back, and like in there was five other horses. I felt embarrassed. <laughs> so, well, 
looking at me like, why are you in our horse house? <laughs> I was just on its back in a horse house. <laughs> now, take one letter out of that and it's a much more familiar scenario. <laughs> I'd have been relaxed. <laughs> and now, your, your look is perfect for playing kind of rock stars, but you must get offered other roles. Sometimes they offer me something, Graham. It involves a haircut. I go, what's the point? <laughs> really? You wouldn't cut your hair? Not really. Not for a job. You've patted it down a bit. I'll pat it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pat it down. If they say pat it down for a job, not you. You don't like it being tough. Not after your fish belly. <laughs> Your own barney. Don't come near mine. <laughs> <laughs> now, because you always look like Russell Brand, yeah. uh, are you recognised? Presumably, you're always recognised. Yeah. You're not going to blend into a crowd. Well, you're tall as well, so that's quite. I'm odd. quite long. Yeah. <laughs> People say hello. Yeah. Like, you go, but you, but you like being famous. Do you know what? I like being recognised. I like some elements of it. And when you first get famous, it is really, really good fun for the girls. Then, though, you sort of realise that it's a, some of it is quite contaminating, you know, because you can't really have a private life and stuff like that. And that's sort of a bit of a weird thing. Now, it's not as bad as, oh, I've been laying asphalt, or I've been, like, you know, which you wouldn't put that like, on the ceiling anyway, that'd be dangerous. <laughs> laying asphalt, or, like, you know, you've got sort of fibreglass in your lungs. It's not a terrible, terrible thing. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass. It's all right, but it's also, like, lately I've become a little bit disillusioned with the old celebrity because I think... People go on about it all the time, you know, and it's sort of like it's used to distract us from things that I think are important and that we should be thinking about, you know, and I'm not saying I'm part of it, I'm earning a few quid out of it, so I'm not saying I'm better than it, I'm just saying it's a shame that it's all over the papers and all over the telly when there's stuff, when we're facing an ecological and economic crisis that would destroy our planet if we don't tune in. Is that also... why you've got Dalai Lama? Ah, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Paloma's pointed out that I wrote down on my hand because it's important. I am doing a uh, event with His Holiness the Dalai Lama at the Manchester Evening News Arena on Saturday. If you are under 25, you can come for nothing. His Holiness will be talking about consciousness and young people and inspiring us and giving us hope. I've got intro him wow. and moderate the interview. Me. This has wow. been Chaos with Graham Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get on with the Dalai Lama. Have you met him before? I never met the Dalai Lama before, no. Wow. But by all accounts, he's a cracking fella. <laughs> <laughs> what, if you, what if I meet him and he's like, all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right, on the Rothmans. <laughs> I just looked on your hand and it says HH Dalai Lama, which of course now I understand says His, His holiness. holiness. But I thought for a second it said, hi, Dalai Lama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I must remember. Hi, Dalai Lama. He's <laughs> <laughs> such a fan. <laughs> And in terms of being recognised, you must get recognised wherever you go, Paul of Faith, because, again, you I look don't, like... you know. No? I mean, I do sort of on and off, but I'm a little bit like Russell. I, I, I tend to sort of phase out. I'm a bit of a dreamer. It's not rudeness, we'll tell you. I don't it's phase just, out. Well, you have for quite a few times <laughs> already, <I>? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> just after I denied it, I felt myself phasing right out. <laughs> but, like, I don't necessarily notice that much, and I prefer that. But I do, um, I quite often, you know, I still get the bus and tube and stuff and sometimes people ask me why, like go, what are you doing on the bus? And I just say, going home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is all you're doing on the bus, not cutting a load of fish out of your guts. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And uh, Emily, I, well, I know there are occasions when you aren't recognised. No, I mean, I think people sometimes think they went to school with me or that, you know, something like that. But I also... I don't know, I feel like some people know you straight away and then other people say, oh, that's the girl from so-and-so. And then I had this kid come up to me and say, she was really cute, she was about six, and she went, are you the girl from the Gilmore Girls? And I said, no, 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 I'm not. And she went, mm. <laughs> Are you the girl from the bridge to Terabithia? And I said, no, no, I'm not. And she went, Oh. <laughs> and then she just walked away, and I heard myself go, scream at her, but I was in the Devil Wears Prada! <laughs> and she turned, and I think her father looked a bit shocked that I just shouted at his child. And she looked at me and she went, I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> I was like, oh, that was yeah. It's so stupid. And now, Paloma Faith, today yeah. is a very special day because people can buy tickets to go and see you on tour. Yes. 
Yes, they can. they can. And are you putting on a big show? Is there like is there stuff happening? It's always a big show. Blow jobs. Because <laughs> Glastonbury, now you looked amazing at Glastonbury. Um, now, <laughs> My large inflatable balls. What's going on here? They're attached to you. That must have been quite hard to walk and move. There was some chafing. Yes. <laughs> Wait, was it a high concept or was it just a kind of, the, oh, this will look good? Well, what happened was they nearly didn't let me go on stage with them because it ended up being a really windy day. And so <laughs> I signed... There I, she goes! <laughs> I had to sign something to say that I would take full responsibility for my own death <laughs> if I got swept off <laughs> into the horizon, you know, up to space. That's pretty whatever. profound to have to take full responsibility for your own death because once you're dead, what are you going to do? Mate, it, <laughs> it, it, it was my fault! <laughs> 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 Because you are, as I say, you are a trained dancer. Yeah, I was a trained dancer, but I really haven't danced for long enough to, like, for ages. So but I in burlesque, saying, did you dance? I didn't, I, I just sang as a burlesque singer in Were you in that movie? Clubs. What movie? Burlesque, what are you talking no. about? No, the concept of burlesque. <laughs> the idea I didn't of burlesque. I she was in burlesque, the movie. I was like, I don't think she was. No, no, but I used to sing in burlesque clubs. Got it. Yes. Sorry um, about that. Chicago not... is also a place. Got it. <laughs> Uh, right, uh, it is time uh, for music. Now, what are you giving us tonight? I'm going to play uh, my first single from the album, which is out now, Fall to Grace, Digger. which you happen to have there. And the album is out now and is yep. hovering at the top of the charts. Which so, is lovely. No, really, and, congratulations. And a, a bit of a first for me, so thanks to everyone nice. who bought it. No, fantastic. <laughs> I, I love this track. I see. Well done. No, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you. Hey, you know when you was over there, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, before we go tonight, uh, a story or two in the red chair. So, who's up first? Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Um, Carla. Carla? And uh, where are you from, Carla? I'm from Brighton, but studying at Bedfordshire. Oh, right. What are you studying? Um, biomedical science. <gasps> There's a genius on the red chair, everyone. <laughs> She's studying biomedical science. She might not be any good at it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Like, what else is this about? What, what year she might win? just eat the textbooks? I'm in my second year. Second year? She's passed some exams. She has passed some exams no, in the second year. OK, uh, off you go with your story. Um, so I fell in a volcano. Sorry? I fell in a volcano. <laughs> you fell in a volcano? <laughs> so it had lava in it? No, it was like a mud volcano, but oh. it, was, it was nice and warm and bubbly. I reckon we should bin her. Bin her, bin Very high standards for stories. <laughs> what happens to her after the lever? I don't know. She's a nine. She's fine. But she's she's already fallen in a volcano. Yeah, you know. Can't be worse yeah. than that. <laughs> uh, who's that? Hello. Hello. Hi. What's Hi. your name? Uh, Claire. 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 And what do you do, Claire? Uh, I'm a medical sales rep. <gasps> it's everyone's so clever tonight. She just sells stuff. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Wow. That is cold, Paloma. Oh. We can't all cut our belly and have fish fall out. <laughs> Some people have to sell shit, okay? Sorry, Sorry. Oh, you, yeah, you've offended a large slice of society, young lady. What's wrong with you? Did a lovely song. <laughs> uh, what's your story, young lady? It's a first date story. Oh, it's a first so, date story. Okay, oh, go, 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 go. Went Excellent. out on a first date with a very distinguished uh, gentleman and we went for a walk along the South Bank. And after a few cocktails, we went to Wagamama's for some food. Oh, and yes. I ordered um, noodle soup. Noodle and soup. halfway through my noodle soup, he launched at me across the table and said, Have you got any fetishes? And I <laughs> snorted, and this big piece of noodle came out of my mouth. <laughs> And he looked at me, horrified, and I was just mortified. And you can walk. You can walk. <laughs> very good, Eddie. Very good. Yeah. I was not in the a noodle. I wasn't. I wasn't. What did you know think? What his fetishes are. We don't this know. Guy. We don't know. I don't know. She oh, didn't. She should be in a seat a bit longer. She, I could, yeah. What if his fetishes are like sucking noodles out of people? <laughs> <laughs> like nasal lady in the tramp having <laughs> the night of his life. Oh. Yeah. He was, he was, he was, he was <laughs> smoke would have come out of his ears. Uh, do we have someone else? Do we have one more? 
Hello, sir. Hi. Oh, oh see, I like his T-shirt with the kissing penguins. It's very sweet. Aww. Thank you. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, no. What's your name, sir? Who? Sorry? Who? <laughs> Is your name Pitt. who? Paul. Oh, Paul. Pitt. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Wickham. Wickham. It's just you're pronouncing it pool. <laughs> are you very posh? No. <laughs> yes. yes. He's Where very I come posh. From, you are. Yes. What's your name? Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we shouldn't laugh at you. You're going to run the country one day. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> And then you'll punish me, that Norton. Uh, right, uh, off you go with your story, sir. So, before going to a christening, my sister suggested. Can I just say, you are so, so posh. <laughs> so, my sister suggested we play a game. Where she will yes, Paul. Roll me up in this moment in our parents' hallway. Wait, you'll have so, to start. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, sorry, we were, we were laughing at you. Uh, what, <laughs> what, what, so, so, you went to a christening. So before going to a christening, oh, before going to a christening, my sister suggested the two of us play a game. Yeah. Where she'd roll me up in this long carpet at my parents' hallway. Okay. So I'd be a bit like a sausage roll. Yes, I understand. Sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> also, can I just say there was a detail there too that the carpet in their hallway was very long. <laughs> <laughs> it's an enormous hall. <laughs> <laughs> On you go. So you're a sausage roll in a carpet. So. I thought it would be a fun way to pass the time. And yes, I, of course. I lie down and let her roll me up. So yes. I have my head sticking out and my arms are stuck in. She then ran to the kitchen and grabs some Marmite, brings it back and smothers my face in it. And then calls over our parents' elderly, toxic breath dog to lick all the Marmite. <laughs> but it worked out fair in the end because it turned out the dog didn't love Marmite and threw up on her shoes. Thank you, Andrew. This very address. Thank you so much to my guest tonight, Paloma Faith, everybody! <laughs> Mr. Russell Brand! <laughs> and the lovely Emily Blunt! <laughs> Join me next week, same time. I'll see you then. Good night, everyone!